Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video tutorial I want to discuss how you can check your website for your CPU usage and resource usage. So one of the biggest pre-sales questions we get is when do I know I need a VPS or how do I know what hosting package is right for me? Well Name Hero, we're a lot different than other providers out there because we're very transparent and straightforward about the limits that we set on each account. So if you search our knowledge base, or you can even search our blog, you'll find this article here called Name Hero Shared and Reseller Account Limits. And you can simply Google this if you'd like and this post will come right up. And you can see I even have a, um, a video as well about this, but um, we outline every single thing you get from us here at Name Hero. But the big ones that you're looking for is the limits per cPanel account. And this is, a, this is true for you resellers out there. When you create a new cPanel account, these are the resources that each account gets. Uh, the same with all of our web hosting packages. They get these, these type of limits. Now, our basic business package, it, you can increase the RAM. You can purchase a RAM upgrade. You can also purchase an inode upgrade. So if you need more inodes or files, um, then you can get them bigger with our business package. So we developed that so websites that are encroaching on these limits that don't quite want to move to a VPS, they can go to the business package first before going to a VPS. But of course, if they reach those limits on the business package, then it's time for a VPS. So for you resellers out there though, when your customer start reaching these limits um, pretty regularly then we know it's time that they probably need to look at upgrading to a VPS or a virtual private server um, so that's why we have these limits in place and we're very generous um, in these limits a lot of other hosting companies don't give you near as much um, virtual memory and, and physical memory especially um, as they're a lot they run a lot tighter of a ship at name hero uh, we try to be very flexible and try to be very lenient uh, so you can have plenty of room but of course there comes a time when your site becomes Becomes too large for a shared web hosting solution and then you have to move it to a VPS and the good thing about Name Hero is we will automatically and free move and migrate your data for you as soon as you sign up with your new VPS we can uh, pull your account and migrate all your data over for you so everything um, doesn't stop so you don't miss a beat or have any downtime but in this video I want to show you how you can look and see if you're encroaching on any of these limits so what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my demo account here and um, I'm going to click on cloud web hosting. I'm going to click on my example package. And for this example, I'm going to use my basic plus um, demo. I'm going to click log in to cPanel. And then from inside of here, I'm going to search for CPU. So you can see CPU and concurrent connection usage. So we can click on that. It says your site has had no issues in the past 24 hours. So that means I'm in the clear, that I've had no no, no, no usage, over usage, and I, I'm good. Now you can also go back to your main cPanel and in your statistics um, column here, if you're experiencing a limit, you can see CPU usage is zero out of 100, so I'm fine. Um, then it will also show up in here. So your physical memory usage, your number of processes, your entry processes, and all that stuff. So if you're hitting these limits, unlike other hosting providers, we're not gonna just go suspend your account because I think that's a jerk thing to do because you don't, a lot of times you don't even know that you're hitting those limits. Instead, once you start to reach these limits, then your visitors will see a 503 page that says limit or server um, server not available at this time and which is when you can log into your cPanel you can see what limit it is and then you can reach out to our support team so we can either fix it or upgrade you um, sometimes this is just it's an easy fix to disable the WordPress um, cron job sometimes if you have a really big WordPress database a really popular WordPress site you know maybe you need to disable the cron job and run it manually so you can actually set up a cron to run that every hour manually which will reduce the overall workload but what I'm trying to say here is there's always a solution so if you're encroaching on these limits it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have a VPS our team can look at it and say okay now here's what's causing the limit increase so either we can try to optimize or we can move to a VPS but I, I feel like that there's other providers out there and I hear this story all too often from new customers that come into Name Hero is their sites are suspended at other providers and they just say account suspended CPU usage fix it well, they don't know what to fix. The account suspended. So that's why at Name Hero, we, we put all this stuff right inside of cPanel so you can see it. And then if you run into an issue, you can address it immediately. And I also feel that's why it's important to list 
um, these type of limits inside of our knowledge base so you know right up front and these limits are also on our sales pages on a, where you actually compare the package you can see this um, just right in front of you so you know um, when you sign up now uh, two gigabytes of virtual memory that's a that's a pretty good amount I mean unless your site is getting 5,000 plus uniques a day or you know using some very complicated or intense software then you're really not going to touch that uh, but if you are then it probably is time that we either look at upgrading to that basic business package or upgrading to a VPS you can see here and I'll go to the basic business pa package so you can see so here's our business package and when you click through here to um, purchase and I'm going to use just an example example domain here so I can show you um, physical memory you can go with the one gigabyte that's included two or four um, so you can actually go all the way up to four gigabytes of RAM during the order process um, and also by default it does have 250,000 inodes as your limit um, instead of the 100,000 soft it's a 250,000 soft and it's a 500,000 hard uh, so that's that's why we created that package and that's the reason why that um, the basic business package is so much more than the other ones is because it allows um, a substantial increase over the limits uh, than, than every other account that um, is created here and again again the same goes for resellers now the problem that resellers may run into if it's one of their customers then they have to we have to kind of work with them to figure out a way we can upgrade them and still keep that white labeled experience and don't worry we have those solutions but we really address those on a um, individual basis we kind of see you know what limits are they hitting um, what do we need to increase and we just kind of take it from there um, step by step but that's how you see it it's um, again it's right there in cPanel all the way from the inodes um, to your disk usage um, as you encroach on these though they will turn this box out actually will turn yellow or red if you're hitting the limit and that way you know you know you know what's going on you know that you're hitting a limit um, and then of course you can just type in CPU and you can get to that you can kind of drill down to the exact thing because what this what this will do is it will actually show you snapshots of what the processes were what the database queries were what the, what the um, web requests query snapshot looked like so you actually actually get to see you know what was going on in your account at that time so we're not just making generalizations um, you can see exactly what it was and then it makes a snapshot each time you hit that limit so then you can go through and say was it an isolated incident did it just happen at a certain day of the week the time of the day or is it a recurring issue and that way when we can look at this data and then our text can help you figure out to optimize I'm going to tell you right now that probably one of the, the biggest ones I see is the WordPress cron job especially for those that have popular sites or have really big databases and we just have to optimize that cron job it's as simple as that but um, again we don't know unless we see it in here unless you're actually hitting those limits then we're not sure I also see this too pretty frequently on WordPress themes or plugins that are poorly coded uh, it's it's tempting sometimes to go out and buy a WordPress theme that looks all nice but if that if that hasn't been professionally coded a lot of themes are just developed and not even developed for usage they're just developed to look pretty they're not developed to have um, efficient database queries and PHP um, code that is really friendly for a lot of traffic so uh, I'll see this more times than, than I, I really like as a site owner will go buy a theme that's poorly coded and they'll put it in production and then they'll notice they run into a lot of memory issues so that's why I always recommend going with a um, well-respected theme developer go with someone who sells quite a few themes someone a company or perhaps that updates it frequently that are continually optimizing that code because if you just buy it from a developer that, that has no experience actually running these designs live then you run into that issue another thing that we see a lot of is WordPress plugins that have been poorly coded if the plugin is developed by an amateur or if it's a plugin for something that can be done without a plugin uh, sometimes that will chew up your memory really quick and so I always tell people the less WordPress plugins the better go with a reputable theme developer don't go with the amateur find someone that regularly and often updates it and that's a simple question before you buy the theme ask them hey show me your update log you know how often have you updated this and and that a lot of times that will solve it but then outside of that it's normally the cron job 
And again, that cron job can be optimized. So that's that's how you can track your resource usage at Name Hero. Uh, again, it's very straightforward. It's very easy to do, and we're not going to be jerks and suspend your account if you hit that. You're just going to have an error message, and then you can troubleshoot it. And that error message will go away once the memory usage goes down automatically. It's not something you have to reach out to support when that happens. And it will just automatically be taken care of. So if you have any questions on this, feel free to reach out and let us know. If you know, you can log into your cPanel account now and view your snapshots and see if you're hitting anything and you know if you are feel free to open up a ticket or a, a live chat so we can look into it further and, and help you optimize it but other than that thanks a bunch for using name hero we certainly do appreciate your business and we also certainly appreciate making your website faster let us know if you have any questions thanks a bunch